RV tips and tricks, how to secure your RV awning. You're either here because you've recently flipped your awning over your motorhome thanks to a gust of wind, or you've seen it happen to someone else. If you're the 2% that just plans ahead and you're watching this video before it happens to you, that's great, welcome. This video is geared towards beginners. Also, let's say you're coming to a country and you're not used to RVing and you're renting one, using this simple hack and trick could save you thousands of dollars. If you want to have peace of mind when your awning's out that you can withstand sudden and strong winds like we have in this area, this video is going to help you. First things first, which is to pull out your awning. I'm going to go through this really quickly because I assume you all know how to do that. If there are people that are very much beginners to the RVing lifestyle and you want me to do a video on how to take out your awning, just add a note in the comment section below this video and we'll do that one for you as well. You'll need a few items to secure the awning in the manner that I'm going to show you. Very simple, inexpensive, short list of items. The first is some sort of hammer. You'll need the hammer to pound in. We're using uh, bent rebar, pound it into the ground so that it's secure. And then you're going to need a pair of ratchet straps. So I've taken the liberty of pounding this rebar into the ground to save you some time and watching me pound rebar. But I can assure you it was glorious. That'll give you an idea pretty well, more or less, how it went. Okay, so now that you've got your rebar into the ground, we paint it pink, you know, to protect people from taking big chunks of skin off their leg, but if you've got your mother-in-law coming for a visit, you might want to leave it dark. Just depends on how that's going right now, dynamics-wise. My mother-in-law's great, so I can say that. Uh, so once you've got your rebar post put in, you're done with your hammer. You're gonna go over here to your ratchet strap, I've taken the liberty of looping it around the top of my awning. Okay, so I've just looped it through itself so that it kind of binds and secures on the awning itself. Okay, I'm gonna run this ratchet strap, which I've already put into the buckle. I'm assuming you guys know how to work a ratchet strap. And I'm gonna secure it. I'm gonna just gonna hook it around the uh, rebar, if I can. Don't embarrass me in front of my friends. Okay, and then you just take that and what you want to do is you just want to click it till you feel the tension start to tighten up on your canopy. You don't want to over tension it just to where it's taut, okay? Let's do the other side real quick. Same idea, the strap is looped in. Take it over to the rebar post. Now you guys can use whatever you like. This is what we're using. just to where it starts to get taut and the idea is, is if a wind gust comes and wants to lift this awning up your ratchet strap and the rebar into the ground negate that from happening and we can tell you from experience there's been a whole lot of times where the wind gusts and this thing won't even move anymore whereas before when we flipped the awning over our motorhome which is why we're making this video for you we didn't have this set up gust came and it flipped the awning over the motorhome like it was nothing. Trust me, uh, these little parts, they're not made of much, but they add up in a hurry. You'll be into thousands of dollars of repairs. Now I will say, if you're in an area where the terrain is particularly rocky, you're gonna have a hard time pounding something like this into the ground. So people use many different ways to get something that they can secure their straps against. I've seen people use corkscrew type of items. Um, also, if there's big boulders where you're at, you could use one of those big boulders to wrap your ratchet strap around and just buckle it up against there until you've got tension. One more tip I'll give to you, it's basically geared towards the folks that are planning to stay in one location for a long time and not move. We like to um, roll up our awning whenever we leave camp for a few hours or a day, so we're on and off. If I was staying for long term, I would go one more step in securing my awning and it would be this. These arms right here, they just clip out of the clip out of the side of your motorhome. You could take this arm, unclip it, take it to where the arm is straight up and down here, and secure it into the ground, and then do the strapping idea, and you'd have two, two secure points on both sides of your awning. So if you come in tight here, guys, just come right in here. 
We have no personal space issues. There's these holes. You could take large uh, nails or industrial tent, tent pegs and just pound those into the ground. Then you would be double secured with this and your ratchet straps. This is a simple RV tip and trick that if you use will provide you peace of mind and potentially save you thousands of dollars. If you're interested in boondock off-grid dry camping type of style in your RV and you want to be able to do that longer, check out our comprehensive how to boondock longer guide here on the channel.